Good afternoon, YouTube family. How y'all are? This is Jason Banks, also known as Red. No idea where I got that from, by the way. No idea. I uh, wanted to welcome you all to my new channel. Uh, more importantly, for subscribing, liking, uh, watching my videos, and hopefully seeing all y'all's comments down below uh, so we can start interacting on this journey that I plan on taking you all on. Um, my hopes and desires and passions for this YouTube channel is to show you how I prepare, how I cook, and also the end result of the, those preparations uh, where we give them to friends and families and invite people over for barbecues. Because for me, having barbecues are some of the most important things in the world because you start uh, combining you know, these different social patterns of everybody and then you come together as one to enjoy really good food, uh, good conversations, good families, and that's what's important, folks. Uh, being a father is one of the most important things I've ever been blessed with in my life. And along our journey, you're going to see my kids uh, join me uh, in the preparation, cooking, and, of course, tasting of all these meals. And it's important to keep you know, your children involved, in, and luckily mine do have a passion along with football and you know, soccer and all these other things. So I'm very, very passionate about that. So some of the things that inspire me to cook all different kinds of cuisines, uh, the biggest reason why is probably because of my mom who, if she were still with us today, you know, she would be 65 years old two days ago. So I'm very proud of the fact that she instilled within me at a very young age how to cook and how to take care of yourself and, you know, make yourself independent. And these are certain things that I'm passing down to my children because I believe it's important uh, to give them some kind of skill. And like I tell <laughs> my kids, the best way to a woman's heart is not only to her heart with love, but it's through her belly with good food. That's a fact, Jack. Believe it. Um, what I'm going to do uh, also is kind of tell you my inspirations uh, other than my mother. Um, Another couple of set of people in the family that inspired me was my grandmother, who was an amazing cook in the kitchen, and then my grandfather, who always was on the grill doing uh, lemon barbecue, uh, chicken, and hamburgers, and, and all that good stuff. And as all y'all Texans know, uh, being from Texas, um, things that me are most meaningful in life are football and barbecue. Uh, I grew up like that, and I uh, may not live in Texas now. I'm here in Northern Virginia, but my roots are still Texan. I'm from Frisco, Texas, uh, and I've got lots of friends that are back there, a few family that's still around, uh, and I love all of them, and I miss all of them to death, but uh, we stayed in touch throughout the years. And uh, so some of the other things that I want to talk to you about as well is uh, three other YouTubers. I've been, I've been getting into this whole YouTube thing of watching and uh, other people video to kind of figure out how to do stuff. Uh, and before I get into that, uh, one of the things I want to do is uh, kind of feature uh, a drink with you all. Uh, Aslan is a local brewery here uh, in Herndon, Virginia. And uh, this is Master of Oranges. Uh, it's one of their newer releases. It's a double IPA. It is 8.4% alcohol by volume. So real quick cheers to you all. Uh, and uh, Here's to success, your families, and uh, the best of everything in this world. Man, if y'all love New England style double IPAs that are just juicy, hazy, dank, oh man, it's this stuff is awesome. You gotta check it out. Uh, it's not in any stores. You gotta have to have to know somebody to get it, but you know this guy with two thumbs, and I'll get it for you. Just let me know. Give me a holler. Uh, so some of the people, the YouTubers that I look up to these days, uh, uh, three of them, in fact, uh, I like to watch religiously three people. Uh, T-Roy Cooks down in Austin, Texas. So shout out to big old T-Roy, uh, the man who does cook responsibly. Uh, I also watch religiously uh, people like Baby Back Maniac, uh, as well, as, I believe he's in Dallas, Texas. And then aim them and claim them uh, from, I believe, Austin, Texas as well. Uh, he, they all do amazing uh, barbecue 
style and a bunch of other things as well. They do collaborations. They do all kinds of um, different things to to kind of get their names out there and do these amazing barbecue channels. So check them out. I'll put their links below. Uh, that way you can subscribe to them as well and you can see some of the amazing things that they do and where I've kind of gotten this inspiration to do uh, these videos. Um, I will also be kind of featuring my style of cooking, which is barbecue. Uh, I'm smoking meats all the time now. I do ribs, I do uh, pork butt, I do pork belly, I do sausages, I do brisket, and, and much, much more. Beef ribs as well, uh, chicken thighs, you name it. I'm really kind of putting it out there. Cedar plank salmon for the kids. They love that stuff. Um, so as we go along this journey, I'll be doing all kinds of different stuff for you. If you guys have any suggestions about what you want to see me do, I will be more than happy to do that for you. Uh, I'll show you my cooking apparatus, which is a fully loaded Wichita Yoder smoker. Uh, quite the investment, but you get what you pay for, just like electronics. You, you invest really well and something that's going to be giving you back and is going to give you a lifetime of an enjoyment for the family. Chances are you're going to get back some good quality stuff. And I've yet to have people come over and said that they won't pay for what I were to offer them. So that is for me the mark that I'm looking for because as I develop, uh, I do want to open a restaurant in the next five to 10 years uh, after my retirement. Uh, some other people that I looked, for, uh, looked up to when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot more cooking channels. Uh, when I was growing up, I used to watch people like Yang Can Cook. Uh, I used to, it's where I got my, my chopping skills from. I used to watch a lot of uh, Julia Childs and uh, good old Justin Wilson. It's kind of where I got my how y'all are kind of little thing introduction there because he, he was a really cool cat, man. Uh, if you ever get to watch any of his old school videos, he <laughs> straight shooter and um, good, good people. Uh, throughout these uh, different series, what I'm going to do is kind of show you my the tools that I use, my shortcuts, tips, food preparation, and, and how I cook it. Uh, lastly, how they taste. And hopefully every time I do have a tasting, um, I'll have friends over so that they can kind of tell you uh, what they think of it as well. I'll give a quick rundown uh, as to how it turned out as well. Uh, this uh, first video that I'm going to do starting tonight and, and then again when I wake up at 5 a.m. to light up my stick burner uh, is going to be a 13 and a half pound brisket, Texas style, salt and pepper only. Very traditional when it comes to my barbecue. Don't tend to mess around with anything too much. Uh, I'll put the ingredients on top that I think is going to enhance the flavor of the beef more than anything else. I, I don't do much of injecting of anything. I don't believe in that. Uh, I'm sure everything turns out good if you do inject it, but I want to showcase what I'm capable of and put my passion into it. Instead of injecting fluids, I'm going to inject my hard work, sweat, and passion so that you all can see the difference that it makes and that you don't need some of this stuff that some of the others do. No knock to them that, that does those sorts of things says ever to each his own, you know. Uh, you, you can skin a skin a pig tons of different ways, you know, and uh, I applaud them for that. Uh, and then I'm also going to do two pork butts, uh, and this is all in preparation for the the big fight night tomorrow. We're having a bunch of friends over, uh, looking forward to that. And let's see what else. Getting kind of parched here. Give you another cheers, y'all. And during any of these videos, I really would love your participation and your feedback. Uh, please comment and like below uh, and let me know what you think. I'm not an expert in anything, kind of what T-Roy talks about. Uh, it's all a learning process and you guys are going to be on that journey with me. I'm not the end-all be-all by any means and I'm sure I'm going to mess up. I'm sure I'm going to burn something every once in a while. Um, but I can tell you that uh, what we can produce here for y'all is going to be something really cool that y'all can try to replicate at home. And, and that's what's cool to me is seeing some of the stuff we do here uh, and then getting your responses back uh, are pretty neat. So continue to watch us, like us, subscribe, uh, share us if you don't mind. That would be great. I would love to get my name out there uh, to kind of uh, promote what we are doing. And I uh, really appreciate that, y'all.
So I'll give you a quick rundown. I'm going to show you uh, my family real quick, you know, kind of my inspiration, my current inspiration as to why I'm doing this. I'm going to put a photo right here and I'm going to put a photo right here. So these are the, the kids in my life that I find tons of inspiration from. Uh, we've got uh, Matthew, Lucas, and Giovanna. Uh, I've got a, a very rich family in that we've got a lot of passion uh, for each other and we make sure that uh, we cook together, we play together, uh, we travel together, um, we have great conversations. And that's what I'm trying to get back to are the basics in life and trying to uh, figure out how to make them better travelers in this world because I believe if you raise your children to be worldly people they're gonna be a lot more tolerant uh, they're gonna be a lot more smart and they're gonna be better off and that's something that I can say about my kids is they're gonna be a lot better off than me uh, and I am gonna be happy to watch them on their journey So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off for now. I just want to give you a quick introduction as to what we're going to do. Uh, here in a little bit, I'm going to start filming the preparation. Um, and from there, we'll begin our journey. Thanks, y'all. I hope you have an amazing time. I, I hope you share the passion of food with me. Uh, in addition to barbecue, I almost forgot. Uh, in addition to barbecue, I'll also do my famous pizzas. As a lot of my friends in the Foreign Service... Uh, will tell you uh, I'm, I love hosting events and I love creating atmospheres where I can sh showcase my food and, and see people's reaction because to me that passion of seeing their smiles and like, wow, you know, that excites me. That makes me want to continue to do more. Uh, so some of the things other than my barbecue, I'll also do Brazilian style barbecue, which they call uh, churrascoria. Uh, so, churrasco is things like picanha, uh, fraldinha, uh, and, and cupim, and linguiça. The, these styles of cuts of beef. Um, my, my other half of my family is Brazilian, uh, so I live in a multicultural family, and that's kind of what we do. We love to have these Brazilian barbecues, and along with um, these American-style barbecues as well. Uh, so we don't forget where we came from, or at least my kids won't, because uh, we kind of celebrate that aspect of their families. Again, getting parched. So again, thank you guys very much for your time. I'm looking forward to this journey with you all. And if you guys need anything whatsoever, give me a holler, comment, like, do what you need to do, and I'll respond immediately. That's one thing I'm good at is customer service. So thank you all very much and have a blessed day. Take it easy.